Hello, I'm glad to be following this gentleman because Deanne and I and almost all of our projects are looking at uh, the history of technology in terms of the mechanically reproduced image, essentially the history of film, video, photography. Okay, uh, we are nearing the completion of our commission from the city of Richmond um, under uh, telling the stories of Richmond. That was the original commission that we got. And collectively, the pieces that we've created exist under the name of Lulu Suite, S-U-I-T-E. Now, the first piece that you're looking at is a video installation with sound that is installed at the Olympic Oval right now and has been for about a year. Um, it is uh, called uh, 17 Films for 17 Islands, and it is comprised of 17 archival films shot in Richmond between the years 1914 to the mid-1970s. The films were sourced from various archives, and then they were digitized, transcoded, and then manipulated. Now, in between each of these films comes up this image. Um, it is a map comprised of three maps. One, a very old oceanographic map from the early 19th century, an early planning map of Richmond, and a contemporary Google map. The map serves to situate the, slides, the films, and then, of course, uh, we like that it looked like a Lascaux painting as well. Now, the second piece that's opening tomorrow at the Your Continent Film and Media Arts Festival is called simply Island. These first two shots that you see are testing shots. It's opening tomorrow, of course. It is a video projection with sound that will be housed in one of the shipping containers. The video was created from footage made during a day-long boat trip that we took around the circumference of Lulu Island, filming the island for the entire duration. So we had the camera just zoned, uh, zoned in on the island as we went past in the boat. The sound comes from Handel's Israel and Egypt from two recordings, the first being one of the earliest surviving recorded sounds ever, and the second is a version that was recorded in 1934. We are projecting the video in a continuous loop, mimicking the journey that we actually took on the boat. Much of the activity that we witnessed on the waterfront belongs to the industrial century. The scale is large, the material is steel, concrete, stone, sand, and wood. There is much activity on your shoreline. Swinging bridges, logs being boomed, shipping containers piled, cars zooming, boats motoring, and ducks swimming. Things are being built here on this, in this place. Things are being moved and often using machines that themselves are seem rusty, discolored, and often in need of repair. As if the future was being built by objects already in decay, things that were themselves almost relics. Now the human body, though not forefront in this imagery, is always imagined or intuited how else the smoke from these stacks or the craning of these logs. Now the very early recordings that we use are likewise relics, the 1988, oh, sorry, 1988, 1888 recording of Handel was created on a wax cylinder and recovered through a process so fragile, so delicate, that there was danger of destroying the object that it, that in the act of actually recording and saving the object. The digital archive of this recording is such that we are really only ending up with the presumption of a recording of Handel. So the old meets the new. Uh, which is that we're creating a app, a cross-platform app called Lulu Suite, a gold rush tale in eight acts. It's an interactive GPS triggered walking experience along the Fra Fraser River. It's not an app in what might be called the traditional sense of an app, where they're practical and serving of your immediate needs. When's the next bus? How many calories in this muffin? Or, are, or their games. This app is mostly closely allied with a game, but one without the point of winning. It's the story of Lulu Sweet, an actress for whom Lulu Island was quite possibly named. We first had the hotspots along a path around the oval and ending at the river. But when we did a beta test, we found participants veering off course, sometimes dangerously so. So we rerouted the walk to take place by the river, which well, marries well with this story, that Lulu Island was allegedly named for Lulu Sweet by Colonel Richard Moody on the Fraser River's north arm. Dixon's Greeting, an early, tru truly experimental film, is the prologue. We used many early Edison and his assistant Dixon films from the late 1890s. But by the way, we are not necessarily hardcore Edison fans. Tesla was the really the technological genius. Edison was a brilliant businessman. 
Lulu Sweet was an actress. We follow her story from New York to Panama to San Francisco with stops in Victoria, New West, and the Fraser River along the way. There are different ways to experience the content. A button interface leads you to animations, scrolling pages, and panoramas. Which is the next slide. Um, it's such that you have to tilt and move the app, looking at it this way, <laughs> in order to see the full image. It's, it's eclipsed, it's sort of an immersive experience that you only see as you move and walk. All the elements you see are timed to sound, as long as the sound lasts, the image lasts. Um, up here in the corner is a new, previously unknown image of Lulu as a child. When we did our research, we actually met her great-granddaughter who came up from California to meet us. And we, she helped us uh, learn more about Lulu's real story. Um, many of the films we used feature the bodies of dancers appearing as avatars for the unfilmed Lulu as she was in her heyday prior to the invention of cinematography. We remap these films, animating these bodies frame by frame. We bring this analog, slower, old-fashioned aesthetic to the space of the app and its expectations of the instantaneous, the slick, the perfectly clean edge. There are over 2,500 created animation stills in the app. We're a bit obsessive. There's enough material here for a feature-length movie. Here is San Francisco and the story of the many boats that were uh, left abandoned because of the gold rush, uh, left to rot, and upon which the San Francisco Harbor was built. Last is Ada Menken, a contemporary of Lulu. They were on the stage together. Ada was an actress, a poet, a woman of mixed race who gambled, dressed as a man, drank, smoked, made a lot of money, and died young. Actresses had a rough go of it during the gold rush. Lulu's stories ended in a more conventional sense. She married, had children, and gave up the stage for love. <laughs>